my dear friends we entered into the 16th sunday last sunday on 15th sunday we reflected that the greatest commandment of the lord is to love the lord and love one another now how can this loving god and loving one another can become practical in our lives in today's first reading we read from the book of genesis a man who was so much loved by god who experienced god's love turns out to be a man who loves the people who come on his way including the strangers abraham was living in a hut and suddenly he notices in the hot sun three young men are coming towards his hut he didn't know who they are from where they have come to which caste they belong to but his love for god the love he had received from god the holy spirit of god made him a man of love so he ran to them and brought them inside the house there is no place of course to make them to sit so he brings the cot and puts it under the tree and tells them you come from long way outside is very hot please be seated i'll bring the water to wash your feet and you as you relax i will bring the food for you the hut is so small the wife is inside he tells sarah prepare the finest flour and make bread for them he goes and tells the servant bring the best calf kill it and let's give good food for those who come to us my dear friends god has loved us so much that he gave everything including his own son and he feels so happy whenever his children are filled with the same love for god and compassion and care for one another we may ask how did this man abraham became such a loving person yes not that he didn't have life problems in his life we know very well his own brother's son lot cheated him and he got the best land and he got best crops and he built up a beautiful city in sodom because he is happy but abraham he got a dry land and he is still living in the huts so whether you live in huts or palaces that doesn't decide the heart of love the heart of love comes when we recognize the lord who is love loving us and celebrating him for every house there is a base there is a roof for this a person to become a person of love there is a base what is that base that the faith and hope my god loves me my god is with me and the same god who is in me is in others so with a faith in god and one another he became a person of love and every house has got not only base that my god is a god of love and he is with me and to serve him is my life but also has got the roof the vision what is the vision of love is a person becomes lovable and being loved by god he wishes that the life years everybody should receive yes that's why abraham forgot about himself and ran as soon as he saw those strangers he gave life to them gave food to them 
give comfort to them today the lord is looking at you and me our life is a precious gift to become a person of love have the base of faith and hope in life many problems will come many disturbances will come the house of abraham was a hut yes but that doesn't matter have the heart of love and celebrate it and give life to others in the second reading of today we find st paul says i was a man who disturbed and persecuted christians but christ showed so much love for me from the book of colossians chapter 1 he says so now i want to live my life for that god he has trusted me and now i want to live for him i want to serve him i want to commit my life to him in the life of time of jesus he offered himself and gave life to everybody now in my time where i am people are in need of love and life so i offer myself what is lacking in christ means what christ cannot do here i do on behalf of christ christ suffered on that day today i die on behalf of christ that i can give christ life love and christ love to those with whom i live and st paul says not only i fulfill what is lacking in christ he says when i die lose myself and giving myself to god and one another i find revelation is coming and new new inspirations are coming to me yes when a seed dies trusting the ground a new life a green plant it becomes a tree later yes whenever we live in love and sacrifice ourselves for the sake of god and one another god reveals great secrets of heaven to us love life is a unique life in the gospel of today luke's gospel chapter 10 jesus is going towards jerusalem he has to die and offer his life for the life of many martha meets jesus and invites him come to my home jesus goes home martha saw jesus as a tired person a hungry person and she prepares the food for him a beautiful thing she does but on the process of helping or loving jesus she doesn't become a woman of love working for love is different from becoming a person of love she comes and tells jesus look i am working alone and look my sister simply she is sitting with you jesus said to her martha martha your mind is disturbed with many things and you are worried about many things and you are complaining about others and look at mary when i came she saw my eyes because everybody wants god to see them very few people see god very few people see the pain of god very few people see the tears of god very few people spend time with god everybody wants god to hear their voice very few people hear the voice of god prayer doesn't mean we make known our voice to the lord we make known our pain to the lord prayer also means sitting at the feet of the lord listening to the voice of god understanding the pain and cry of god and she saw my face 
she is concerned about me she is sitting at my feet i am sharing with her i am going to jerusalem i am going to die offer my life yes what she has received from me cannot be taken away from her that will give life so mary has chosen the better part my dear friends god of love was lived by abraham lived by paul lived by mary and martha today the lord is speaking to each one of us there are so many people come in our lives like abraham we to have many problems like lot own brother's son cheated abraham we to will be cheated in life we may maybe we are living in a hut Maybe our hearts are like hut, so much of heat, so much of disturbance. Look, those three young men received the love of Abraham, and they blessed them back. Whatever we show to God, the love we give it to God and one another will be returned back, and that's what make our life unique and anointed one. That's why. in that ripened age of 100 abraham became a father god will do wonders in you when you learn to live this love yes like paul sometimes we may have to die to ourselves our name our fame don't worry be prepared to pay heavy price for god god will honor you he will give the revelation of heaven living with the world we may receive the blessings of the world but dying for god dying for one another we will receive the revelation of god third like mary let our hearts learn to understand god let our ears learn to hear his voice let our eyes learn to see the pain in the face of the lord walk with god you are sent by god with a mission every day life means every day prayer means sitting at his face sitting at his presence seeing his face hearing his voice and joining with jesus and fulfilling his purpose on this earth on this earth Yes, may God bless us and anoint us. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful Sunday. You speak to us from the life of Abraham, Paul, Mary, and Martha. Lord, working for you, sometimes we may be disturbed. Working for you, we may be anxious and complaining about each other, and we reach nowhere. Today, you are asking us. even after serving you still we are complaining about others maybe we are murmuring we are worried maybe the love for you and love for one another has not grown in us as you prepared paul as you prepared mary as you prepared abraham prepare our hearts to love you and to see in one another Hallelujah 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 May Almighty God bless you the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen Praise the Lord